In this video, I'm going to talk about the greatest integer function, okay? Or sometimes they call this the uh, floor function, okay? So, so basically, it's defined as, okay, notation-wise, it looks like this. Or sometimes they use, in some textbooks, they use this notation, like a double brackets, okay? So what this says, okay, what the greatest integer function says is that basically it's, the output is the greatest integer less than or equal to x, okay? All right, so the output is, this one gives you, okay? Greatest integer less than or equal to x. Okay, so let me explain what this is. Okay, let me provide an example here. So let's suppose that we want to find or evaluate the function at 5.2. Okay, so that means we have this. Okay, so let's think about this with the number line. Okay, so we have the real number line. Okay, and somewhere here. Okay, we have 5.2, okay? And over here is going to be five, and over here is going to be six, okay? So remember the function, right? It's the output of this function, okay? Is the greatest integer less than or equal to the argument? Or in other words, okay, we want to find, we want to determine the greatest integer that's going to be smaller than or equal to x, okay? So our input here is 5.2. So the greatest integer that's less than 5.2 is going to be 5, okay? All right, so it's just, okay, so you always go back. You always go back to the previous integer, okay? Unless if the input value is an integer, then the output will just be that whatever integer that is. For example, say it was, say we have, uh, we want to evaluate this function at three, okay? So in that case, since three is an integer, and by the definition it says less than or equal to, okay? So in, that, in this case, since three is an integer, then the output will just be three, okay? All right, so that's how that works. Uh, let's look at another example. Let's say we have, or let's say we want to evaluate this function at one half. Okay. So let's look at this on the number line. Okay, so we have one half here. Okay, and so on this side we have zero, on this side we have one. Okay. So using the definition, right, we want the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Okay, so the greatest integer that's smaller than one half is going to be zero. Okay. All right. So let's look at some values uh, that are negative. So let's say we have f of minus three fourths. Okay, so let's draw out this number line. Okay. So negative three fourths, okay. Let's say it's there. So on the left side, we're gonna have negative one. On this side, we have zero, okay. So again, the smallest, right? or I'm sorry, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to x is gonna be this one, okay? So in this case, we get negative one, okay? So it's always giving you the integer to the left, okay? Unless the input is an integer, in that case, it would just be that value, okay? All right, uh, how about something like f of negative two?
Okay, so here's negative 2. So on this side, we're going to have minus 3. On this side, we have negative 1. So again, the, the greatest integer less than minus 2. In this case, minus 2 is just an integer, right? So it's just going to be minus 2, okay? All right. Uh, let's look at something like, let's say, f of minus 2.5. Okay, so here is minus 2.5. On this side we have negative 3, on this side we have minus 2, okay? All right, so again, this is negative, this is positive. Okay, so we want the, recall, we want the greatest integer less than or equal to x, okay? So the greatest integer that's smaller than negative 2.5 is going to be minus 3, okay? Okay, so that's this is how the greatest integer function works, okay? So with this uh, with this idea, we can come up with a, you know, a sketch of what this function looks like, okay? So let's see here. Let me do this again. Okay. All right. So let's put some points on here. Let's say this is one, this is two, three. Okay. And say we have, we're going to make this a little longer. So this is x, this is y. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3. Over here we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And so this will be minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Okay. All right. So just looking at, uh, let's look first between two and three. Okay. So for example, we had two point five, I believe, or let's see, well, negative two point five. Okay. So negative two point five. Okay. So let's start on the negative side. So negative two point five, the greatest integer that was negative three. So that means any value. Okay. Any value. Any value between negative 2 and negative 3, their greatest integer is going to be negative 3, okay? Okay, so that, okay, so, all right, so at, okay, so we're going to get minus 3, okay, so it's going to be, so first of all, for minus 2, it's going to be exactly negative 2, okay? And then after that, okay, any value between negative 2 and negative 3, not including negative 2 and 3, it's going to be, right, it's going to be like this. And then this one, at negative 3, it'll be minus 3, okay? So then, for any value between negative 1 and negative 2, when you take the, when you evaluate this function, when you take the greatest integer of this, it's going to be between, uh, it's going to be equal to negative 2. Okay, so it's going to look like this, okay? All right, and then any value, okay, between 0 and negative 1, the greatest integer of that is going to be minus 1. Okay, and the greatest integer of 0 is just 0, okay? Okay, and then the greatest integer for values between 0 and 1 is just going to be 0. So we're going to get all this, okay, and this will be open. The greatest integer of 1 is 1, and the values between 1 and 2, the greatest integer values of between 1 and 2 are going to be 1. 
Okay, and so then you, right, you continue this pattern. Okay, so that's what the uh, greatest integer function looks like. Okay, so it actually continues in this way. Okay, all right. So this is definitely a, uh, it's a, it's not a continuous function, okay, obviously because you can't draw this function with, without lifting up your pen or pencil. Uh, in this case, my uh, I'm using electrical pen. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is what it looks like, okay. And actually, if we go up to, let's see, yeah. So this is it. Um, so the domain here, okay, so the domain is actually all real values. Okay. However, the range, the range, if you, right, so since this is returning just the integers, so, so therefore the range is just the set of integers here, okay. And you can clearly see that from this graph here, okay? So that is the greatest integer function, and that's how it works, okay?